everyone welcome back to my youtube channel it's me your girl ij and this is ij designs and today's tutorial we are going to draft we are going to learn how to make a cow kaftan like something i'm putting on now is a cow kaftan is a kaftan can you see it is a cow kaftan but this that I, we are going to do today is going to be the calf kaftan with open sleeve the sleeve is not going to be closed it's going to be open i want it to be an off shoulder also so it's going to be an off shoulder calf kaftan with open slit so now if you have not known how to draft a calf kaftan i've made a full detail on how to draft it on your paper before placing it on your material on my youtube channel i've made a full details on how to draft it you can check it out so that you can draft and keep for a quick one like this but without wasting much time let me just go through the measurement that you are seeing on my paper right now from the shoulder to this first line is the armhole then from the armhole i get to the waist this measurement is my measurement. I'm using my measurement to the waist. Then from the waist, I get to the hip. From my shoulder to my armhole is 8 inches. From the shoulder to my waist is 16 and a half. I mark at 16 and a half. From shoulder to my hip is 22. I mark at 22. And from shoulder to my upper knee, where I would like the Kaftan to start covering is 33 inches. I mark that at 33. And then to the length of my kaftan is more than 60 because I want it to flow. I want it to flow because I put on heels. So now this is the vertical measurement. Then coming to the horizontal measurement, that is the round part of the body. Since it is a free gown, we only need the measurement of our shoulder because it's going to be an off shoulder. So we need few measurements here in achieving this calf kaftan. Normally, when making your clothes, you divide your shoulder by two. For instance, my shoulder is 15. When I'm making an ordinary clothes, I divide it by two, which will give me seven and a half. But in off shoulder, I'm going to make use of the 15 inches. I'm going to make use of the 15 inches. So from here, the edge of my material, I will place it to 15 inches. That is here that I've already cut out. That is 15 inches. Then I left some other inches that gave me 29. I'm going to make use of the 15 inches which is my shoulder measurement i'm going to make full use of it remember this off shoulder is something like this i'm putting on so it's going to have also this upper part that i'm putting on now it's going to have it so because it's going to have it i will come down to six inches from the shoulder from shoulder here i'll come down to six inches later i'll use this upper mat upper part of the material to cover it I'll use about three inches so that it's not going to be, to be too low. It's, if I leave it like that, it's going to be somewhere here, which I don't want. So I'm going to put something like this and I'm going to make use of three inches. So now I'm going to come down by six inches. That is here. So from the six inches to this here is my shoulder. It's my armhole. From the shoulder to here is the armhole, eight inches. Then 16 and a half the waist, then the hip 22 from the shoulder to the hip 22 and shoulder to where I want the kaftan to start flowing. That is 33 until the length of my material. That is the length of the kaftan that we are making. So now, what else do you need? You need your measurement of your hip. Now, my hip is. 40, 40 divided by 4 is 10. So I'm going to place at the hip, I'm going to place 10. This is what I need. 
10. My hip here, 10. I don't need the measurement of my waist because it's a free gown. I need this measurement of the hip in order to add an extra allowance to make it feel free because it's a, a free caftan. So I added more 4 inches from the waist. So all together, I'll have 14 inches. So this 14 inches, I will bring it down to the down of my material which is 14 to the down of my material so from there i call from this plate from this 33 that i want the my my caftan to cough from there i curved it straight to the length of my material so that is how to do this but i've given a full detail of it in other tutorial i've earlier made so you can check it out and also this upper part of the material which is the different material i'm going to use this i'm going to use this black and what's it how do you determine this how do you get this just get your tape just take your tape and go through your shoulder in this way just measure your shoulder how tight it you want it to be on you so that it's not loose if it is loose, it's not good, you'll be uncomfortable. So make it how tight, how comfortable you want it to be. Then after getting it, you divide it by two. For instance, mine is 38. I'll add one inch seam allowance that is 39. Then or I'll make it 40. Let's get it to 40, a round number. Then this 40, I'm going to divide it into two. Because I need extra allowance to close it up. So 40 divided into two is 20. So I... I cut out this 20 pieces, 20 inches. Can you see it? 20 inches. I cut it out and the length of it is seven. I cut seven. The length of it is seven. That is what I cut it. I cut it in two. I cut it two of it. These two of it because I'm going to close it up. But remember, our shoulder is not straight. Our shoulder curve a little. Our shoulder is not straight like this. It curve. So I'm going to also go in from the edge of this material. I've now folded it into two. Look what I did. You know, this is 20 inches. The width now is 20 inches. The length is 7. Then I fold it into two. I fold it into two. Then from this, from the folded area, go in by half inches. Half inch. Go in by half inch. Then from that half inch, come to the point. From that half inch, curve it to this point. From Go into half inch and then curve it to this point. Let's cut. See? Then I'm going to use it to cut this side. Just place it in this form and Now I've cut it. That is what I mean. You see? Now, see the way it looks? I'm going to use it to cut this. I'm going to use it to cut this. After cutting it, then I'm going to take it to the machine to, cut, to close it up. I'll close it up in this form. I'll close it up here and also close it up here. Now the material is already cut. The material is already cut with the drafted paper that we already did in our last tutorial. So now let me show you how it's going to look.
but before then let's check out how to close it off from the shoulder from these 15 inches which we cut open as the neckline then from the from this place from the end of the 15 from this here 15 just mark four inches that is where you are going to stop while sewing it up just mark okay make it five inches just mark because you are going to get take away half inch from the shoulder and also half inch to close it up so mark at five here just notch at five just notch at five inches Here is you are going to sew when sewing it up just take half an inch sew it to this five then you stop you can use bias to trim to trim the rest of it and when and also from this shoulder here come down by 10 or 11 inches come down by 10 or 11 inches I came down by 11 11 inches from this 11 inches that is where you are going to start closing it up from the sides from this 11 inches that is where you are going to start just notch it so that you are not going to miss it just notch it so from there you are going to close it till the end of the gown So now let's take away this and see how it looks. Let's open it up. See? See how it is? So this sleeve is going to be open. Is going to be open so by the time you now gather here this sleeve will just fall open by the side so let's sew it up and see how I've joined the front and back together as you can see I've joined all together that's the front the back I've joined it together and also I use bias also to fold the sleeve remember the sleeve is going to be an open sleeve so this is the sleeve it's now open and also this side and also i took half inch to close the sides together and now the upper part of it like i said i've joined the two together that is this here that is going to be on this i've joined it together my shoulder as i said is 38 so now I have that a the round shoulder. This is that it. Now the next thing I did was to use the longest stitch in my machine to also run the neck so that I can now track it until it gets to 38. Then I will fix this. Do you see it? So I'm going to pull it until I have the exact of my shoulder. Then I'm going to attach the upper part of it. Then, as you can see, I've placed the upper part of it to it. Just gradually, just try to pin it. Just draw it, draw it until it gets to your actual shoulder, the measurement of your shoulder. So you take your pin and gradually pin it up before you, you can now sew it to the machine. Just pin it up. Just pin it round. Get your actual measurement. Pin it round. Then you will now go to the machine to sew it up. See? I pin it. Now look at the way it's going to be. Can you see it? That is the way it's going to be. Look at it. You just pin it with your pin so that it doesn't fall off. Then you do it round. 
then i'll take it now to the machine i will sew it up then we will see how it looks now our kaftan is ready see i have fixed the upper part of it and also remember the sleeve is open and also hem the down part of the kaftan and now it's ready so let me put it on then we check out how it looks like guys can you see the outcome of the kaftan we have just made the open sleeve like i said it has an open sleeve can you see it how does it look is it not beautiful why not make one for yourself and tag me on instagram i am there at ij designs on facebook i am there at ijama uzoma and also on my page i am there as ij designs i'll continue to be sharing my knowledge on how i make my clothes for my new subscribers you are all welcome and for the old ones i give you a thumbs up i'll continue to share my knowledge with you guys i would like to see you in my next video have you subscribed if you have not just pause this video and subscribe to my channel like share and comment on my videos you will not regret passing by my channel see you in my next video bye bye